everybody. Today is the 29th, our last day. I'm going into a town called Bonifay. Bonifay, it's about eight miles down the road here. I'm going to see what kind of stuff they have there to eat. Um, I just can't do fast food every day, you know, which I only did it one time when I was here. And that's about my limit for a while, you know. I just can't do it all the time. I just, and I, this morning when I got up, I threw away everything in the cooler, in the one cooler. I didn't get to the other one because there was another car behind me wanting to dump his garbage. So I didn't want to go and sit there and clean out my cooler. So later on today, I'll get another plastic bag, clean it out, and then drop it off the garbage. Uh, yeah, I just put everything in it. <laughs> Done. I can't do ice. I am going to get a bag of ice because I like to have something cold to drink. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I'm just riding around. I slept really good last night. Um, it rained. It wasn't a hard rain. It rained about 3 o'clock in the morning because I looked at the phone and it said 3 o'clock. And I listened to it for a while. And then I keep hearing. I, I, must, I think I imagine stuff. I imagine things walking around. I, maybe there isn't. And there was a people came in last night. Somebody came in really late last night because it must have been like nine, ten o'clock. And they're setting up their whole camp. They got their lights on in people's eyes and tents and and then there was because you go up the hill and all, as you go up the hill you get to the top, all of these are camp spaces. And it goes around a big circle. And these are all camp spaces around this circle. So when these big trucks come in <coughs> with their rigs, you know, their big campers, a lot of times if they can't pull into their spot going this way, they'll go around to the circle and come back this way. And when they leave, they do that. So there was people, three or four people came late last night. You know, a couple times I thought, what the hell, is somebody walking around with a flashlight in my, around my tent, you know? And then it quieted down, and the lady next door came back, and I guess she had her flashlight on, getting to her tent, and doing her thing in her tent, because I could see that side of the tent glowing. So it's kind of interesting. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I'm just going to ride around and see if I can find something to eat. I don't even know if there's anything down this town. You can only go 40 miles an hour on this road. I don't know. But I ain't worrying about it. I'm not really that hungry, so it takes me a little bit. Maybe I'll eat lunch. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all soon. In a town called Bonafide, I think is how you say it. It's called Holiday Restaurant. So let's go ahead and check there. Not very friendly. Breakfast there, it's called the Holiday Restaurant. This town is a little strange. I get a weird vibe from this town. People almost seem like they're zombified, you know? I, saw, I, I don't know. The waitresses, the two of them, there's two, and they, neither one of them seemed too enthused. They weren't nasty or anything, but they just seemed like there was nothing there, you know? I, I don't know. I can't explain it. The breakfast was good. I had scrambled eggs, crispy bacon, and... Um, home fries that they deep fried and a piece of toast and that should do me until way later remember I'm gonna go back to the place and I'm going to um, start I got some dishes I need to wash um, get them packed just get things kind of packed up you know stay here. I don't know. Sometimes I'm kind of debating whether to go home tonight, really. Because it is getting really hot. I can go home and surprise them all. I don't know. Oh, I just don't feel like doing all that crap. So if I do it in two days, it won't be so bad. So maybe that's what I'll do. Kind of cleaning up, packing some stuff, getting dishes done and stuff like that. And then I realized I never showed you my coasters I got yesterday. They are cute. It says coffee touch. Ooh. If I don't break them, they'll be all right. Let's see here. 
I paid $1.99 for them all. It says it's coffee time. Aren't they cute? That little fits on them. That's a, I thought that was a really good deal. And they're cute. Just wanted to share that with you. Yeah, it's hot. It's hot, my friends. I don't know what we're going to do, but it's hot. Uh, I want to get my stuff packed up. This way, it's done. Because I know later on today, I'm not going to have any energy. So as soon as I figure out what I'm doing, I'll let you I'm headed home because it started raining. Um, very lightly. You can hear thunder off in the distance. And I thought, you know, I don't want to have to stick around and watch my tent and be in it again. Because it's getting very muggy because of the rain. It was 91 yesterday. So when I got back to the base camp, I uh, made an educated decision and decided I am getting out of here because it's getting hot. It's going to rain. I'm leaving tomorrow. So why don't I just do it today? So, but that's okay. I had a very good time. I had a great time. I learned a lot, so I know when my trip in June, which will probably be my last tenting vacation trip, <laughs> and I'm only saying that because, go ahead, that goes. I'm only saying that because I'm getting too old. It's a lot of bending up and down, pivot it back and put, push it here, pull in there. If you have an RV, your stuff's always where it's got to be. You pick up a few chairs you had outside because you're sitting outside your RV, and you move on. I can't, it's just too much for me. I can do one more. I can go do the June in, for 11 days. I can do that. I made that commitment, and I'm going to do that. Plus, where I'm going, there's um, it's a lot of things to go and see and do there. Um, there's an old town there. There's like a town that's underwater still that from years and years ago. You can see some of the buildings. I can't remember the name of the place, but I will. And the video is coming up when I get closer to it. I'll let you know. Actually, when I get home and next time I look at my little clipboard, I can tell you more about it. We're not going till June, so. But, uh, yeah, and I will be better prepared for June. I am not bringing hardly anything I'm bringing my tent if I do end up with a screen room I don't even know I don't even think I'm going to do a screen room I had a hell of a time with the tent much less a screen room no I don't think that's a good idea uh, what else um, I'm only bringing a handful of cookery I'm bringing my clothes, of course, and my fan, my bed, and the tent, the toilet bucket, which is a lifesaver for the middle of the night, let me tell you. And uh, what else? Maybe my little cooking stove and my little grill. Basically, that's it. You know, a couple plates, a couple silverware, one little cooler which I'm going to buy a better one. And I'm just going to do my shopping every day. Or, you know, why not? You know, it's just too much with the ice. Um, it would have been so bad this time if I could have had my vehicle where I was at. That was very hard. Um, go, everything around here is an incline, which is fine, you know. And it was going up and down that hill that really wore me out. And doing that tent that day, that took a lot out of me. And, um, but I learned from, I've learned so much from it that it's okay. It's done and over with. And um, I won't have that problem with the tent again. Because the tent I have at home, I'm going to learn to put up myself. It's a nice big one, and that's what's going to happen. I'm going to have to take all month to practice, I'm going to do it, because um, it is a nice tent. Now, you should have seen me rolling up the old big yellow tent. <laughs> that was a funny thing. I should have taped it.
because as you know, I duct taped at all the ends because little pieces kept coming out when you're trying to stick it into the ground and make the tent go up. Well, I had to take the duct tape off, and I figured off on one each, you know, one end of each one and slide it through. Well, no, because then it gets caught up on the little thing and the wires, the elastic's coming out, so you can't put the... Man, let me tell you something. I pulled as much as I could get out, folded it all up, wrapped the tarp and the tent all up in it. It's in the back there, all bungee cord together, and throw it in the van. <laughs> and they can do whatever they want with it. If he don't want nothing to do with it, I can put it in the garbage when I get home. I am done with that tent. I'm very appreciative that it was a shelter for me. But I could never, ever do that tent alone. It's hard enough with two people. So, it, and I'm going to do a review on it. And I'm going to tell them it's a piece of crap. I am. I'm going to do a review on it. And I'm going to put it up on YouTube. Because people look for reviews. And I'm going to do a review on that tent. Because easy my butt, easy assembly no way is it easy. Not even with two people. Get, even getting the thing through, because each little thing that clicks out has a metal piece, you know, and it gets caught up on when you're trying to stick it through the, the thing to get it over the, the top of it, it keeps getting stuck. You know, you have the whole width of it to worry about, you know. It was very difficult, very difficult. And I learned um, a need to bring a small tool kit. I need to learn to read the instructions because like with the fan incident I had but that worked out alright. I learned from that but as long as you learn it from it it's okay. I am definitely going to buy an RV. No doubt about it. It is set in stone <laughs> and that is how I am going to travel. Not this tent business. If I was 20 years younger, heck yeah. Heck yeah. Because it is nice, and I did enjoy it at night. It was nice being in there at night. It was nice and cool with the fan and cozy and, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's just a lot of work. See, when you're doing it alone, you're going with a bunch of people, and you're all sharing the workload, it's not as bad. But I'm there all by myself, and it was it was hard. It was hard to get there. I, you should have seen what, I should have taken a picture of me when I looked like, when I got everything packed. I took a shower before I left. I took out some clean clothes, and I put all that aside, so when I got every last bit in the car, I went and took a shower, put my stuff in the car, got it, and took off. <laughs> because I, because see, I, I was sitting there, and I could see the clouds, I could hear the thunder, and I could feel a little bit of rain. And the bugs are buzzing, and I'm spraying, and I'm sweating, and I'm like, you know, I thought about going to Panama City, but I'm a friggin' wreck. Can't go to Panama City like that. I'm a sweat monkey. You know, I'd have to go take a shower, you know, and so I thought, you know, I don't know. And I thought, well, I'll just sit here and I'll start picking up stuff and putting it in so I won't have much to do tomorrow. Because I really didn't want to go. But then it kept getting darker, and then the wind would pick up, and a little rain, you know, and I said, you know what, this is ridiculous. What am I going to do, sit here and guess, and play this game until 4 or 5 o'clock where it's too late, and you got to suffer through the night? Because it is getting humid. It was a little warm last night, it wasn't bad. If I didn't have, if I didn't have that second fan, I would have issues, no doubt. That was the only, last night was the only night that I actually had a little hard time sleeping because of it being warm, but it wasn't that bad once the sun went down and it got like two in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, it started raining. And that just made everything more humid. I thought my bed was wet. I thought I had leaked in the bed, but it's not. It's humidity making everything damp. It's ridiculous. I can't stand the humidity. Oh, when I get an RV, this girl will not be in Florida in the summertime. I can tell you that much. It is pathetically hot. It's not even right. Not, you know, it's only April. It's 91. And I know people, like, I know um, Carrie in Wisconsin said she, I, 
was watching one of her videos last night. Well, I didn't watch it. I just read the title. It said Snow in April. I had a hard time getting video, uh, um, internet too out there because last night, because I think it was just so overclouded, so I really couldn't watch too much stuff. <clears throat> but I read the title and I thought, oh my God, they're getting snow. Or, you know, just like us in 90 degree weather, they're getting snow in April. I mean, it's insane. And then when I had gone and eat breakfast, I, uh, oh, an accident. And when I went and ate breakfast, um, the news was on and they were saying something about they're having a climate march in Washington, D.C. today. And I thought, well, wow, for global warming, I thought, that's good. Because it's, it's, it's a real thing. April, I can remember being a kid in April and it was like, it was like, it was springtime. Everybody loves spring, you know? You're either still freezing in April or you're sweating to death. It's like, almost like it's, you know, it's gone. I, I don't know. I don't know. Well, I'm going to watch the road. I have quite a ways ahead of me. I've just been on the road maybe 30 minutes. I've got gas, something to drink. And I'm on the road probably for another three hours. But uh, when I get home, I will let you know I made it home safe. And um, I'll see you then. If anything happens interesting along the way, I will certainly let you know. I'll talk to you later. I'm off my exit. I'm about three or four miles down the road, and I will be home. <sighs> yeah, I can't wait to see my Miss Kitty. I miss her. My little Miss Kitty. Yes, it wasn't a bad ride. Ran through a little bit of rain on my way out, up to about Tallahassee. And then I started, you know, it was like Tallahassee back. It was cloudy, rainy, nasty looking, and all this beautiful on this end. Beautiful. So, I'm home, and uh, I'll give you a little chat tonight before I end the vlog. Talk to you soon. Oh, I had a shower. It's going on 7.30. We ordered some Chinese, and we're going to have Chinese, and we're going to sit in the bed and watch Outsiders. got a couple of them taped. Yeah, so I'll get a good night's sleep tonight and I'll be ready to go tomorrow. I am going to rest tomorrow and unload my van. Monday I plan on going for a walk at the park. And Tuesday I'm having lunch and our nails done with my sister. And we're going to go to Planet Fitness because she's a member and I'm going to go with her and uh, see if I like it. So we'll try that out. <clears throat> so I will say good night. I had a wonderful week. We will go over it. Things that I learned tomorrow or in a day or two I might just take a break tomorrow from everything so if you don't see a Sunday video you know why so uh yeah I'll talk to y'all later had a great time bye